and to end both the protests and the pandemic. Canada's Prime Minister is pandering to politics by division, stoking anger and fear. The rhetoric he used towards those Canadians who support lifting the mandate adds fuel to the fire. These are not the actions of a Prime Minister. A senior member of the Liberal caucus has publicly criticized his tone, his language and his approach to the pandemic. Will the Prime Minister act like a Prime Minister? Will he listen to the opposition, listen to his own caucus? Will he listen to Canadians? Or will he continue with this divisive rhetoric? Here, here, here. The Honourable Minister of Public Safety. At the beginning of the pandemic, our government has been laying out with great transparency what we believe is the best way out of this pandemic, and that's vaccinations. And I want to give credit to the 90% of Canadians who've taken up that cause, the 90% of truckers who've taken up the cause of vaccinations to ensure that the wheels of our economy continue to, to turn. As for those who are outside, Mr. Speaker, this government is working very closely with the City of Ottawa to provide the police all of the tools and the resources that they need to end this convoy as quickly and as peacefully as possible. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Member for Foothills. Canadians, including a senior member of the Liberal caucus, are speaking loud and clear. Justin, just go up the left. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to ask the honourable member for Foothills to stop while his members on his side are heckling him. So I'll let, the, I'll let, him, I'll let him continue now. The honourable member for Foothills. Canadians, including senior members of the Liberal caucus, are speaking loud and clear. Canadians are looking for pandemic leadership. Canadians are standing up right now, grabbing this moment in our history, because they know there is something fundamentally wrong when a Prime Minister refuses to listen. Countries around the world are changing direction, but here in Canada, our Prime Minister resorts to playground antics and calling names. If ever there was a time for inspired leadership, it is now. Will the Prime Minister grow up? Will he do his job? Will he listen to Canadians? Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I'm very pleased and grateful for the members' use of pandemic leadership. This is exactly that, this pandemic leadership, Mr. Speaker. We all have the responsibility to work together, to listen to each other, to listen to science, what science has told us and what science... I'm going to have to interrupt the Honourable Minister of Health. I'm having a hard time hearing him, and I really wanted to hear the answer, as I'm sure the Honourable Member for Foothills, who asked the question, would like to hear the answer. I'm going to ask the Honourable Minister to start right from the top so we can hear the whole answer, please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm glad to do that because I thought the question was the right statement. They spoke about leadership, pandemic leadership. That's exactly the point, Mr. Speaker. We need to be leader in managing the pandemic. We need to be united together, working together, listening to each other. We have a hard job to do, Mr. Speaker, which is to look after the health of millions of Canadians who depend on us to protect their health and the health of those that they love. Bravo, bravo.